Good evening. It's 9 p.m. here in Seoul. Thank you for joining us on Arirang News. President Yoon Song yeol is on a three-day visit, three visit to Paris, promoting South Korea's bid to host the 2030 World Expo in Busan. On Friday, the leader sat down with his French counterpart, Emmanuel Macron, for a bilateral summit. Our Oh Soo-young, traveling with the president, tells us what came out of those summits. So, uh, Soo-young, hi. The South, Korean, uh, the South Korean and French leaders held talks on Friday morning. Tell us more. Right, Jung. So President Yoon met with President Emmanuel Macron for a breakfast summit on Friday morning at the Elysee Palace. And you're just in time for the results. They just came out and we heard that they talked about a broad range of issues. Let's start with the economic front. Now, on the economic front, uh, the two leaders discussed the progress that their uh, companies are making, their uh, huge IT companies, uh, battery companies, lots of uh, future industries, uh, the companies in the future industries sector, as they try to cooperate more on, um, you know, futuristic technology such as renewable energy, uh, nuclear, also quantum technology, and semiconductors, of course. So they're trying to uh, create more collaborations between the two sides, especially with uh, startups and by encouraging more uh, entrepreneurship together. So that's what they really discussed, the progress that they have also seen since June, which was their uh, previous summit, also held at the Elysee Palace. So they were checking up basically on the kind of economic initiatives and collaborations that have been happening since then. And um, the two leaders also discussed climate. Of course, that's a very important agenda for both countries. And President Macron is said to have shown strong support for uh, President Yoon's uh, carbon free energy initiative. So uh, they were talking about carbon neutrality and how the two countries are pursuing uh, the um, transition to net zero. So that was uh, the second topic they talked about. And uh, we've been seeing quite a lot of geopolitical uh, developments, um, all sorts of conflicts, twists and turns since the two leaders last spoke in June as well. Uh, so the two leaders discussed um, North Korea's nuclear missile threat, of course, and the need to really uh, muster up global coordination in terms of uh, putting pressure on Pyongyang uh, with uh, the proper enforcement of sanctions. So that's one of the security-related topics that they discussed. On top of that, of course, the recent Israel-Hamas conflict that has been uh, growing bigger and bigger. They exchanged their views on the developments in the Middle East. Also, uh, President Macron and uh, President Yoon, they discussed South Korea's uh, non-permanent member uh, status in the United Nations Security Council, which will begin next year. And of course, France is a P very much a P5 country, one of the permanent members of the Security Council. So they have many things to talk about on how they're going to really collaborate on some of the world's most pressing security issues. And they indeed uh, agreed to do that uh, going forward. So. This summit, of course, it was held only five months after their uh, previous summit, but it looks like the two leaders uh, had quite a lot to talk about over breakfast, presumably over coffee and a croissant, of course. Right, Soyoung. And the president is, of course, pushing for the World Expo bid, meeting with as many, as, uh, as many relevant people as possible in Paris. Tell us more about his efforts there. Right, so President Yun touched down in Paris on Thursday and uh, he was basically had to land running basically. He attended a banquet for Paris based diplomats and also delegates uh, related to the uh, Bureau International de Exposition, excuse my French accent, um, as he tried to really promote South Korea's bid to host the expo in the uh, southern coastal city of Busan. He said that the envisioned Busan Expo in 2030 would promote understanding and exchanges of different cultures, technologies and ideas as what he called um, an expo of solidarity. And on Friday evening, he's going to be holding another dinner with uh, BIE representatives. He'll be introducing Busan's vision for a sustainable future through global solidarity uh, in the fields of climate change and digital innovations uh, in particular. Uh, that's according to his senior press secretary, Kim Now, Kim said that 
President Yoon will be highlighting the spirit and the vision of the Putan Expo, which aims to reduce the gap between countries um, in terms of you know, economic, social and digital equality and create a foundation for sustainable prosperity uh, for all of humanity. And Putan, in that regard, will become a platform uh, to promote knowledge sharing and bring together global coordination for such efforts. Let's take a listen to what she had to say. President Yoon suk yeol would emphasize that the Republic of Korea, which overcame the ruins of war 70 years ago and achieved miraculous development, is the optimal partner to solve the challenges facing humanity as a responsible member of the international community based on its past experience. Right. As you said, the final vote for the 2030 World Expo host city is only four days away, and the stakes are higher than ever. Thank you for your report, Seo. Have a nice evening, Seo.